talking about going back to highlighting a point. So right now I'd just like you to take a couple minutes and um, give us a little history of the 20 years with Reality Check. Danny highlighted it a couple yeah. minutes ago some of his things and how he got started, and I'd yeah. like to hear well, your we story. Well, we kind of have overlap there because, uh, well, how I got yeah. started with it was, again, it's a fluke. And I tell this story all the time. I was DJing at Bonnage Go Go and Terminator and mm -hmm. active in the scene, working with them and so on. And I happen to be out clubbing one night, and I see a sign that says, uh, if you enter the premises, you agree to be filmed for Reality Check TV. It's kind of scary. No, 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 no. <laughs> and I was like, but it said, then I read more, and it says, you know, cable TV, mm -hmm. San Francisco Channel 53, I think it was at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, so it's a cable access show, but they're playing themselves up to be like a media, you know, heavyweight media sure. thing, you know, because you see those signs for like ABC TV sure. and shit like that. So I said to myself, I got to meet this guy because that's ballsy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're underground and it would be good coverage for Bon Jagogo because we don't want major coverage right. by a big TV station. We want the underground people. To. So I said, well, let me just, you know, it was at the, it was at the Paradise Lounge. I'm walking around, I said, whoever has a freaking camera is going to be the guy I need to talk to, or at least to get introduced to the guy sure. I need to talk to. And sure enough, it was Hugh and Mocha wandering around there filming whatever they were. I don't even remember what was going on that night. So I approached them, we, we started chatting, and then we found we had all these things in common, one of which is Kiss. Of course, we're big Kiss fans. Yeah, huge. I think, uh, you know, Mocha was wearing a Kiss t-shirt or a Kiss bus. So he, you know, and that, so that got me started on that. And Hugh comes from New York, so we just it just dovetailed so nicely. Um, and I invited them to Bono Jagogo the following week, and they filmed some stuff, and then they interviewed me. Right. And we kind of hit it off and became fast friends, and they started being regulars at Bono Jagogo. Then they told me about this Kiss project, and I go, oh, that's, that's Tim and Jonathan and Frank, Kiss Heaven. And they go, well, we're going to go over there and film some stuff. And I went, oh, okay, yeah, I know exactly where they live because I've been over here times, you know, Jonathan and Frank and those guys hanging out with Tim's amazing Kiss collection. <laughs> he really did have well, an amazing guys, collection. Well, you guys, I mean, Kiss fans are like an under, underground It's a brotherhood. Society. It's, it's a brotherhood, in especially in those days because we yes. were, it was the non-makeup era and we we're all yeah. like, are they ever going to get back together, <laughs> you know, and so there was that sort of unspoken, you know, sure. Kiss fans are definitely uh, on, on a different level, yeah. you know, I mean, even more so than probably even deadheads, I would yeah. say. Hardcore worship the band. So you, you know. had that in common we already. Had all that the stuff New in York common. thing. Okay. Yeah, and then we did the Battle of the Bands thing. Okay. And the Battle of the Bands thing again. Danny started doing interviews right on the spot, and I was being uh, doing some stuff. And I had friends there like Mimi Chen and whatnot, uh, who was a local radio DJ friend of mine at the time. She's unfortunately in LA now. Um, yeah, so it kind of progressed from there, and it just became like we started sharking for interviews. Like Danny had his contacts, I had mine, and it just sort of started to flow together. And we just started hanging out all the time, and it got to be a blast. You know, we were having a good time. I had also been writing for local magazines, so mm -hmm. it was just an extension of instead of me writing about it, I was just doing it on camera, like right, you are. Right. And it became, you know, like I started to enjoy it, you know, and we kept getting more and bigger interviews. I kept using as many of my contacts as I could. I was also working for Gibson Guitars at the time, so I got a lot, a lot of stuff that, through that. And it helped, you know yeah. what I mean? And it, it just built the show up, and it started to acquire this kind of momentum. You know, like it started to do it all the time. Now I can't stop it. <laughs> it's this juggernaut. Plus now we're in Sacramento of all things. Well, you know, that's another thing. I'm glad you mentioned that, you know. Which we have aired in Sacramento before. But we're a part of Capital Chaos. Go set to yep, Z. kudos. Kudos to the Almighty yeah. Z on that one. So and we, that, have, we have had a toehold there, but we, we've never had our own freestanding thing. So it's great that you guys are taking, the, you know, planting the flag and, t and running, with, running with the ball here. Well, it's a franchise, yeah. and we are definitely in learning mode. Um, our big launch is going to be in um, April. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are in learning mode. That's cameraman Kev behind the, um, you behind, are. you know. I'm in learning mode, okay? He, so, he, so he's the, he's the, already the arrived. The key here is to visit realitychecktv.com. <laughs> we'll put it right there yep. on the screen for you. Realitychecktv.com is the place to go. It'll keep everybody updated about yep. everything that's going on, and we'll start, you know, having the Sacramento stuff up there as well. And that way people will be able to find out exactly where your guy, you'll be at, where mm -hmm. we'll be at, where these guys will be at. So yeah, 
and uh, try to keep covering the local bands as much as we possibly can because we support the local scene. And secondarily, you'll still see the top name bands that you've come to oh, enjoy absolutely. and continuing to expand and pop culture. The same, you're going to get the same basic thing that you've been seeing all along, just uh, it's kind of an expanded cast now. Yeah. Mm, yes, and we're expanding our range. That's so right. So to slowly <laughs> taking over the world one town at a time. <laughs> right. <laughs> one city at a time. Well, thanks so much for your time, Ace. I really appreciate I love coming here. This is San Francisco. We're, you know, I would definitely want to come to a party in the future here and get some hallway shots and you know, I know oh, things happen have, here if the walls little, could talk, yeah. right, Danny? Yeah. So um, Yeah, we have our museum here. Yep. We've got a lot of All right, you guys, places. thanks for your time and this is Shell with Reality Check Sacramento visiting Reality Check TV the original San Francisco headquarters.